You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Poe Boy Sin, and the Poe don't stand for Poe. Now, by the looks of the title, I'm about to tell you guys what's the best badge to run on the rebounding guard build. Now, y'all know I normally don't do these type of videos, but I'm about to start getting in the habit of doing them because besides wanting to upload only highlights and gameplay, this is something else that I've been wanting to do on YouTube, especially when it comes to 2K. You know what I'm saying? Helping players figure out what's the best builds to use. You know what I'm saying? Best badges and things like that. But grinding rep every year stops me from doing that and I let other YouTubers beat me to the punch. But currently right now, NBA 2K20, you know what I'm saying? In the month of March, there's still people out there that need help playing this game. So that's why I'm doing this video. And like I said, I'm about to start doing these videos a little bit more often. So let me know down in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? What other type of videos related to this one that you would want to see me do here in the future. Now, I'm about to jump into my rebounding guard build right here. And um, I'm not going to confuse you guys with jumping on my legend rebounding guard build because I don't want to confuse people with the extra badge upgrade. So I'm just going to go straight into the build that I created already, you know what I'm saying, from base without the extra legend badge points, just so y'all won't get confused out there. So this rebounding guard build does have 21 defensive badge upgrades, you know what I'm saying, and it won't have the extra legend playmaking badge as well because when I did a rebounding guard video, everybody was asking, how you make this build and get extra playmaking badges? How you make this build and get extra playmaking badges? And it's because of the legend perk, you know what I'm saying? So there's still people out there that don't know when you hit legend, you get 10 extra badge upgrades to each category regardless of whatever your build is but 40 is max so um like i said i got 21 badge upgrades on my rebounding guard build some of y'all might have 20 21 maybe 22 um i think 22 might be max or 21 might be max but you know what i'm saying y'all should have about the same amount of badge upgrades as i have on this video so mandatory what i will start off with when playing on my rebounding guard i'm gonna tell you guys what badges you should probably use playing twos and what badges you should probably use playing threes now um, we're gonna start off with badges you should use playing twos as a spot up being a rebounding guard because there's a lot of y'all out there playing spot up as a rebounding guard you know i kind of helped start that wave a little bit i ain't gonna take credit from other people that have been playing you know what i'm saying two card two guard lineups in the beginning of the year but a lot of you guys know me and exit run two guard all the time so specifically talking about the twos having 21 badge upgrades and being a spot up you want to have on that hall of fame intimidator for sure because you're going to be playing post players you're going to be playing against centers down low in the paint things like that so you want that intimidator maxed out as much as possible just in case you have to defend down low in the paint and then you you, you want to stay away from pick dodger because your guard should be the one playing on ball defense so you're not going to need pick dodger and depending on what your bad setup is or what you want to put your bad setup as you can go clamps or no clamps but we're gonna probably decide on clamps after we put on some of the added badges you should probably put on first so intimidator hall of fame rebound chase a hall of fame of course because you're gonna be you know what i'm saying a little bit shorter in height compared to centers out there so you definitely want to have that rebound chase on hall of fame potentially if you was a little bit taller you could probably go go but you definitely want to go hall of fame um you definitely want to either now this is this is a personal preference decision right here now me and exit has went over this a lot when it came down to this rim protector badge and being a, a rebounding guard spider build and when it came down to it bronze will give you the same animations as hall of fame will depending on your time shot contest so um, you can go bronze rim protector or you could go hall of fame rim protector i'm gonna show you guys what the bad setup pot possibly should look like with hall of fame rim protector and then i'm gonna show you guys what you guys can do with just going bronze rim protector so we're gonna go hall of fame rim protector um we're gonna go silver box we're gonna go silver box now interceptor is personal preference just like rim protector you go bronze you go any tier on interceptor interceptor is a good badge this year and um like i said you could go bronze silver gold hall of fame um I potentially would go bronze or silver just so you can go Hall of Fame pogo stick 
and then like i said this is this is where it all comes down to personal preference but this is what your setup should look like now you could go bronze rim protector but you definitely want to have that pogo stick on hall of fame or gold because you're going to be down low in the paint with with players that are taller than you so you want to have as many jumps available as possible when trying to defend or contest shots down low in the paint so like i said you want to go gold or hall of fame for sure so gold i mean hall of fame pogo stick Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, Silver Box, now Silver Box because if you good at boxing out, you don't need Hall of Fame Box, especially on the tools because if you playing tools and you plan on giving up the ball a lot, now that's something different. When we play tools, we don't plan on giving up the ball a lot, so you're not going to be in many positions to where you're going to have to box out a lot, but if you is a good box out player, you should only need box on on silver you feel me that should be good enough for you so silver box silver intimidator hall of fame i mean silver interceptor hall of fame intimidator hall of fame pogo hall of fame rebound bronze rim protector and you got four left to decide on where you want to go and you could either upgrade your interceptor upgrade your rim protector upgrade your box or you know what i'm saying if you want to be a switch like player on the tools like if your guard if, if the guard you playing with likes to switch a lot, you could go Hall of Fame clamps to where you can guard ball if it's uh, if the situation presents itself or if you guys guard and if you guys are playing against two other guards, you feel me? And uh, your your guard can't guard the guard that's going crazy, so you need to step up and play switch on it. And that's where the Hall of Fame clamps are come in at. Or you could go Hall of Fame defensive leader. You know what I'm saying? Help your guard out, give him extra defensive attributes to where he could better defend to where you guys don't have to switch. So at the end of the day though, mandatory, you wanna have pogo stick on, intimidator, rebound chaser. You definitely wanna have interceptor on cause you're gonna be playing off ball defense a lot. You wanna have rim protector on, at least bronze, or you could go hall of fame or in between. And then you wanna have box at least on silver. So it's, it's all personal purpose from there. Um, I did just want to get on this video and show you guys what's the best defensive bad setup to go with when playing with a rebounding guard as a spot up on the twos. And when it comes down to the threes, it, it, it's pretty much like same difference unless you're playing on ball defense. Now, I wouldn't suggest playing on ball defense on the threes with a rebounding guard. A lot of people don't. Rarely anybody does. But if you do, you're going to have to put on that Hall of Fame pig dodger. And then you're going to want to take that box off. And then you could go chase down artist bronze and then you want to go clamps hall of fame so where you take that rim protector down you take rebound chaser off you go clamps hall of fame and then um de depending on how much you drop drop from the corner you know what i'm saying on offense to get an officer board you know what i'm saying you could put rebound chaser on or not but you're not going to be in too many you know what I'm saying? Rebound situations, playing on ball defense as a rebounding guard or spotting up in the corner as a rebounding guard, unless you like to drop down low a lot or get in position to where you can get a rebound being a spot up. Now, that's on the threes. This is not on the twos. On the twos, you definitely want to have rebound chaser on. But speaking of the threes, you definitely want to, you know what I'm saying, probably not have it on to where if you are playing on ball defense, you want to have that tireless defender on hall of fame and then you want to take interceptor off and go chase down on bronze because you're not going to need interceptor playing on ball defense so hopefully i wasn't talking too fast like i said i quickly just wanted to show you guys what's the kind of the best badge setup to run as a rebounding guard on the twos and the threes now for shooting badges you definitely want to go you know what i'm saying quickly because i know people are going to ask what shooting badges should you run you definitely want to go hall of fame quick draw hall of fame range extender you know what i'm saying hall of fame green machine and then depending on if you play corner or if you play hash you could go silver corner specialist or go bronze corner bronze catch and shoot or if you got high spots, you know what I'm saying, throw that high zone hunter on silver, or you could throw it on Hall of Fame and go silver green machine. Now, like I said, to each his own, man. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it helps some of you guys out out there. And I'm going to catch up with you guys on the next one. Smash the like on this video if you want to see more uh, videos related to this one. And y'all be easy. Stay blessed. I'm out one.